Remember these guys? Cheech and Chong. Hey man. Am I driving okay? I think we're fine, man. Now I was in that shit, man. I never had no dope like that before in my life, man. That's the heaviest shit I ever smoked, man. I mean, I smoked a lot of shit before, man. Well, God damn, man. That's heavy shit. Are you okay? I can't breathe. Listen, man. I can't breathe, man. We're just right here. Hey, man. Hey, here oh, I got fucking Cheech and Chong, man. You really fucking love those guys, man. Remember those guys? In the 70s or the fucking 80s or whatever it was when they were potheads? And it was so outlandish and so, so under. Everything is shoved and through. Ah, smoking, fucking, everything is under the table. Everything is so under the table. So we're going to talk about that. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly uh, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I think we're at like 6,500 right now. Amazing, uh, amazing growth in 2019. Kindly uh, consider becoming a Patreon to this channel in 2019. Simple two dollars, three dollars, even as as little as a dollar a month, and uh, that helps keep the thing alive, which uh, I'd like to see it kept alive. And uh, or consider a one-time uh, PayPal, PayPal donation to this uh, channel. All right, better than fake news. Right. So let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about this. All right, so I'm reading from the fake news, <laughs> New York Times. Right, they did a good piece. They did a. Uh, a, they, I don't. I agree with the statistics that they're when when you, when you read fake news as a as a uh, as kind of a, a a way to go about it is that look for the facts. If they rep, if they're reporting facts and the facts are, you know, reasonably believable, then you you can you can you know you go forward with the fake news. But it's the summation in the of this article that I venomously disagree with, and I'll tell you why. All right, so let's just look at some of the statistics. And it's not that I disagree with their summation. They didn't make a summation. There is no summation. You'll see what I'm talking about. So um, so legal weed. Uh, now, uh, the, the, the title of their uh, report is, Now for the Hard Part, Getting Californians to Buy Legal Weed. All right? So California is legal, right? In California, around 2.5 billion of legal cannabis was sold in 2018, half a billion dollars less than in 2017 when only medical marijuana was legal. Wow. So, so the use of marijuana, according to that, is coming down, right? The money, right? The mo they're using, that's all they know is money, right? So the measurement of money indicates that there's a tick down in cannabis use, right? Well, wasn't that the point of the war on drugs? To get people to stop using drugs? Now we're promoting it because there's money in it? Or has there always been money in it? Right? Has money always been the motive? Right? Keep it illegal. Shh, because it's long been known. I mean, Holland, for example, the, the Dutch, have had, you know, essentially a decriminalized marijuana system for 50 years, since the 60s. When... The United States, when when people were awakening in the '60s and people were, were were waking up to the to the use of these types of substances, parts of Europe allowed it to progress, and in the '70s, Nixon under the Nixon administration, they cut it off and they declared, you know, slowly but surely, a war on drugs. Right. So where the United States stopped and criminalized and 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 uh, made you know, brought violence and, and shootings and drug cartels. Uh, parts of Europe had coffee shops with people smoking weed in it, right? So, so but, but the, the point I was trying to make is that decriminalizing has long been shown to decrease the use of drugs, decrease the, 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 the deception, the, the use, chronic use and abuse goes down. We've long known this, studies show. We've long known that when you take the violence and the, the, the mystery and the, 
the the mystique and the and you take it out of the out of the schoolyards, the level of the level of abuse goes down. So let's see what this these jerkies jerkies are saying in the New York Times. San Francisco, a billion dollars of tax revenue, the taming of the black market, the convenience of retail cannabis stores throughout the state. These were some of the promises made by prominent proponents of marijuana legalization in California. Well, yeah, okay. But the, the, the proponents, right, those are, those are opportunists, right? But we'll give them a break, right? The, the, real, the real mission is to get people to stop using drugs. Now I don't I don't smoke just for the record I don't I haven't used had a drink or drug in 25 years right I don't intend on trying no fucking free pot but I know a lot about the subject so that's what I want to talk about right? one year after the start of recreational sales they are still just promises right all that shit that they just talked about California's experiment in legalization is marred by debates over regulation and hamstrungs hamstrung by cities and towns that do not want cannabis businesses in their own, on their streets. Well, that's tough luck. I mean, if something is legal, if a business is legal and you don't like the business, well, then move out of the fucking place, right? It's legal, right? See, what does legal mean? That's really, that's really the topic. Is, is cultivation legal? Because I'm going to talk about that. I'll talk about that. The cultivation is really the secret. California was the sixth state to introduce the sale of recreational marijuana. Alaska, Colorado, Nevada, Oregon, Washington paved the way. But the enormous size of, size of the market led to predictions of soaring legal cannabis sales. See, that's the only reason they, the, the administrations got, got involved, because they saw money. Right? Instead, sales fell. So now it's a failure. Around 2.5 billion of legal cannabis was sold in California in 2018, half a billion dollars less than in 2017 when medical marijuana was legal. See, there's your evidence, right? The the when you legalize it, when you make it more available, the price go the 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 use goes down, based on the dollars. Right? There are definitely days that I think that the legalization has been a failure. Said. Linda Hopkins, who is on the Board of Supervisors in Sen Sonoma County, which took a lead in licensing marijuana businesses but became embroiled in disputes over regulation and taxes, not to mention angry residents who did not want the cannabis grown in their neighborhoods. The easy part of legalization was persuading people to vote for it, industry analysts said. The hard part now is, th is, is it's, now that it's legal is to persuade people to stop buying from the black market why is there a black market when something's legal right there's it's not legal if they, if you're calling it a black market right it's not legal right the example is is like if something is legal like tomatoes or corn right you know you could grow it in your yard any anywhere pot grows anywhere tomatoes grow you can grow outstanding Skunk number one, the best, highest grade marijuana outside for pennies, right? Anywhere where, where tomatoes grow, right? You can grow tomatoes. There's other examples, but but that's a good one. Tomatoes, there's always been a correlation between the way tomatoes grow and the way marijuana grows, right? For example, in New York. Oh, and also, the best marijuana is not this super hydroponic you know, secretly grown and, and cultivated. No, it's fucking simple. The best weed grows outside in the dirt and in the natural resources, right? So like in, in, in New York, for example, if you got, if you put your seed in the ground in June, July, August, September, vegetation, right? Then the light starts to cut back and they start to bud in late September, October, and October's harvest would be in New York State based on the temperature and all that stuff, right? And for pennies, you could get fields and fields of marijuana, right? Fields of it. Why is there, why is there a black market if it's legal? Right? It's because it's bullshit, right? For hundreds of small producers, the paperwork alone, here's the problem. The paperwork alone has been enough to put them out of business. A cannabis producer must submit applications to as many as five state agencies including obtaining a certificate to ensure that they are able to use a scale. 
It's ridiculous, man. It's so ridiculous. I mean, if you want to regulate the, the seller, just get a, like a, in New York, it's a consumer affairs license. You pay 30 bucks and you're allowed to sell. You're allowed to grow, do whatever you want, right? If you want to take, take a little bit of, a little bit of money. The tons of extra cannabis continue to leach out across the country into states where it is legal. Right? So where? It's, it does, that doesn't even make sense. It's leaking out into Oregon and Washington? This is fucking stupid comment. Right. Hey, they're going to give us the bottom line now. <clears throat> the bottom line is there's always been a robust, illicit market in California, and it's still there, says Tom Adams of BDS Analytics, which tracks cannabis market. Regulators ignored that and thought they could, they could go straight into an incredibly strict and high-tax environment. Exactly, right? Because they're giving up their illicit business where law enforcement is employed, judges are employed, border patrol, all, this, all the people leeching off of the business, the jails, right? The, 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 right? So now they got to get that money, right? They, still gotta, they can't give it away, right? Because that was the real, that's the real obstacle in legalization is taking the money away from the real criminals, which is the establishment. The most recent official estimates of California cannabis production, a report published a year ago by California Department of Food and Agriculture, show the state produces as much as 15.5 million pounds of cannabis and consumes only 2.5 million pounds. So they can, they make, they're growing a lot more than they consume, right? So sell it. Sell it abroad, right? Sell it wherever. Whoever wants it, right? Fucking sell it out in the street. <laughs> Right. California is get sell it in, in, in the high school so you can hook the kids on it and then you can you can ensure that you'll get your tax money. California surplus equals a thirteen time equals to thirteen times Colorado total annual production. So California's killing it right now. Is a, a production is smuggled eastward. So all of California surplus is smuggled eastward, especially across the Rockies, Mississippi, where the wholesale price is three times as high. Right? This is what this is what happens. Cannabis in California is one thousand one hundred eighty-three dollars per pound, compared with three thousand forty-four dollars in Illinois and three thousand seventy-two in Connecticut, twenty-eight hundred and forty-six dollars in DC. All right, so stop. There's the problem, right? Why is one crop eleven $1 hundred dollars a pound, and tomatoes are a dollar ninety-nine a pound? Has that ever occurred to you? Or strawberries? For even even the best tomatoes are four ninety nine a pound. If you want to get a super hydroponically grown tomato that just makes your mouth water, right? There's no fucking reason why you can hand a a, a, a book, a ten page pamphlet, and hand, and the right seed, and hand it to any corn farmer in Missouri or wherever the hell corn grows. It grows all over the place, right? Or tomato farmers, right? You can give them that book that explains the vegetative stage, how to sex the plants. You only want the females. And then the budding process. You can explain that in 10 pages to an educated horticulturist. And they can figure it out like that. And they already have the equipment. They have the dirt they have the land, they have the tractors and the, and the fucking water hoses and everything, right? They know exactly what they're doing, right? Any farmer in, the, in, in America can grow pounds and pounds of marijuana for pennies. Now, do you want to, right? No, they want to keep it expensive. But the, the point is that it could be a great cash crop for a lot of people if they would just legalize it across the, across the country. California again. Governor Gavin Newsom estimated that 85 to 90 percent of the cannabis that California produces was exported. It's a very serious issue, he said, and it's going to create a dynamic where the black market will likely persist in a very stubborn way. Well, fucking legalize it totally. Legalizing means you can grow it too. The icon for cannabis is going to become the, here's, here's the other tell, is become the Marlboro Man. Miss Hopkins, the Sonoma County supervisor, said, referring to the symbol of the, the tobacco industry to which critics often compare the cannabis industry. In California, where we've done what we always do, 
regulate, 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 which ultimately gives significant advantage to large companies with significant economic economies of scale. Right? So again, you can't compete with Marlboro, right? Philip Morris, you can't do it, right? So just make it legal so that people can grow and sell. It's very simple. Here's another one. Laura Ajax. That's a real name. Laura Ajax, the head of California's Bureau of Cannabis Control, who is sometimes called the state's cannabis czar, described 2018 as a rough as rough both for regulators and the industry. Her office is planning a public information campaign to try to persuade consumers to buy to stop buying illegal pot. It's fucking ridiculous. I thought it's legal. Again, it's not legal. It's it's fucking they stole your pot. Again, the regulators and the tax and the government. They came in, they stole your shit. They fucking they stole your shit. We have to get some consumers buying from the licensed market. Make it easy. Make it make a fucking license like a like a driver's license. Make it simple. You gotta go all this regulation bullshit. It's legalization was promoted as helping to end the war on drugs. But Miss Ajax, now this is where it gets really fucked up. Listen to this carefully. Legalization was promoted as helping to end the war on drugs. Yeah. It by 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 giving people what they want, the abuse goes down. Healthcare, uh, th- that money can be allocated to to rehabilitation. That the focus can shift to treating d- drug addicts like like uh, sick people rather than like criminals. Like that was the point. That was the war, right? But that's not how the how this Jackoff inter- Ajax interprets it. Miss Jakeoff uh, Ajax says California has no choice but to step up enforcement of cannabis. Scoff laws. Uh, Austerity. Here they go. Start cracking heads. As a state, we have to get more aggressive, she says. Oh, what a fucking idiot. With less than two dozen enforcement agents, she will need help from other government agencies. So they're calling in the troops. They're going to start cracking heads and locking people up for selling something that's legal because they can't they can't get around and fucking their 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 dream of cash flow and taxes was popped. Right? Miss Ajax said uh, uh, she was encouraged by the surge of the applications of new cannabis businesses in 2018. The Bureau of Cannabis Control has issued 2,500 temporary licenses, yet this is still a fraction of the tens of thousands of cannabis businesses in the state. Right. So those other those other businesses can't sell because they don't have a license. It's just Miss Adams of BDS Anal- Analytics says 2018 was a year of constantly diminished forecasts of forecasts of cannabis sales. But he has other but he and others believe the legal market can only grow. Especially after the dispute decision by Miss Ajax's office to allow cannabis delivery services to operate across the state. Okay, yeah, of course, delivery. So, even in parts where legal municipalities have chosen to ban pop businesses, oh, that's their choice. Miss Ajax sees a solution to, canna- to California's cannabis supply if and when marijuana becomes legal nationwide. Ah, pal. So, there we agree. If you legalize it nationwide, then you don't have all of these, these, uh, I mean, states are still uh, able to regulate in their own way. But you have other states that would greatly have no regulation whatsoever, right? Like, like you know, a, a, a state that has no real cash crop and suddenly becomes the, the uh, pinnacle of cannabis growing in their state and they drive the price down, right? Again. A pound of pot shouldn't be more than ten dollars or fifteen dollars, right? That's all it should be, because that's all it costs to manufacture, and even that's high, right? That's even that's that's ridiculously high because it doesn't cost that much to grow, and it's not that complicated. It's very simple. It would be wonderful if we could get, if we could sell to other states. This is Ajax, she said. Yeah, it would be. You can you can, but but then why is California? Selling into states that it's not legal, right? You gotta legalize it, fucking. You gotta legalize. It. 
So what's the takeaway, right? So here we see the the oligarchs trying to step in and control your weed, man. That's what it's all about. They're controlling your weed, right? Because it, look, in my view, the 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 real got my tail wagging when they said legalize marijuana. Yeah, sure, because you know that you're going to take the mystique out of it, and and you're going to create less drug addicts, less people leaning into drugs and maybe they'll take up health food and exercise and meditate a little bit, right? Right? See, I'm, I, I oppose drug use, right? So legalization by bringing the, the costs down and taking the mystery out of it is a good thing. But according to the experts, <laughs> according to the oligarchy, it's a failure because they didn't make the money that they thought they were going to make. So now they're bringing back austerity, right? They're already... As, as it said, they're starting to crack heads, right? Get more aggressive. We have no choice but to step up enforcement, right? That's what they're going to do, right? They're going backwards, right? So congratulations, California. You got some legal weed, but you got yourself a fucking, you got yourself a serious problem here. Right? Marcus Conti reporting.